Well, welcome to the Daily Snack. My name is Jeff. I'm happy to be hanging out here with you today here in the uh, Daily Snack. This is a, the a homebound because it's snowing out edition. Uh, if you've, uh, you've probably never seen my house, but I have a big old steep driveway that I'm on. And uh, so when it's snowy out, we, we don't go nowhere because the car, uh, it'll get going down the hill just fine. It's steering and stopping at the bottom of the hill. That's the problem. So uh, if you don't know what the Daily Snack is, let me give you a little description here. Uh, we're part of Journeys Crossing. It's a church in Germantown, Maryland. And uh, we just want to give you a little bit, tiny taste, a little daily snack uh, of what j- all the goodness of Journeys Crossing's kids ministry is all about. We call ourselves JC Kids. Kids and uh, we have a lot of fun together, and we didn't want to just keep all that for Sunday. So we give you just a little taste of it uh, every weekday, Monday through Friday. And if you haven't checked out any of our previous episodes, just go back on the YouTube uh, playlist. You can check out all our past episodes there. If you've seen us before, you know that on Mondays, we normally start the week with something really fun, lighthearted, high energy. We play games. I've worn frozen t-shirts. I've eaten really nasty things. Uh, We've had trivia contests. We've had all kinds of fun with these competitions. But this weekend, we had to change things up a little bit because of the snow. We couldn't get out. We couldn't record things on Sunday like we normally do. And so... uh, You know, as I was thinking about this, I said, this is a perfect week for uh, something that I want to call, do you want to build a snowman challenge? Uh, That's right. We all love, no, our lovable snowman, Olaf from the, uh, from the movie, uh, from the movie Frozen. And uh, so I said, let's get out and let's build a snowman. I talked to my kids and said, would you like to build a snowman? And they said, "Uh, of course, dad. Yes, we would like to do this. Now, there wasn't a ton of snow outside. There was, you know, two, three inches. My family moved from Minnesota. We're used to sometimes having two to three feet of snow on the ground. Most of you out here in Maryland can't imagine such a thing, but it really happens. But we went out to go build ourselves a snowman, and I was able to record it, and I want to talk through this footage with you. So as you can see, we're out in the front yard of my house. I've sped the video up because otherwise it would be really long and boring. I promised we weren't moving this fast. and So we've kind of laid out the area. Here's where we're going to build the snowman. Hey, yes, hi. We all wave to you. And we're going to get down. And the first step to building a snowball is rolling this first ball, this base. And as you can see, we've got some problems because... We have realized in all this that the snow is not packing. Julia thinks she's got a technique, and she's got a little ball that she's trying to roll. Caleb's trying to roll a ball. I'm making a mess. So we've got to to regroup here. And so I've got an idea. I go and get my shovel, and I say, all right, let's go ahead, and let's just scoop some snow onto the area, and then we can kind of form this into a big ball there. It's not snowman building technique by the book but we are going to go for it so there i am i'm bringing the snow over the kids are building it into uh what appears to be a lump on the ground it doesn't really look like the bottom of a snowman yet but we're gonna get there i promise we're gonna get there and maybe i'll lend a hand with this so i'll jump in and uh it's still looking rather lumpish so let's keep going Now, you'll notice at this point in the snowman building, uh, Caleb has changed his snowman building technique. He is no longer forming the ball on the ground. Rather, he has decided that it would be great to throw snowballs at us, uh, which is great when uh, he has his hands and I have a shovel. I've got a little bit of an advantage right there. But we're going to keep at this. We're building this snowman and... We're starting to realize that this does not look like it's going to work. This does not look like the round snowman shape that we have. But, you know, it does look maybe kind of like a, maybe like a little mountain. So what if instead of we building a snowman, what if we went with a snow mountain? So let's, let's get some more snow on it. Uh, Caleb even starts grabbing some handfuls of snow. Oh, no, we're back to throwing it. Uh, yes, definitely 
maybe more fun than building a snow mountain. Uh, I've got some piles of snow that I shoveled earlier, so that's going to speed the process up here. We're going to bring those over, and we're going to keep building these into some kind of uh, Mount Crumpet kind of deal. Caleb has run off uh, under a tree. I don't know what's under the tree. It's not a snowman of any sort. I don't know what he's doing back there, but... We're building up this snow mountain. Oh, a nice little snow squall blows in. That didn't really help us any. It just made us a little colder and wetter. Uh, and I think I mean, we're going to leap ahead on the footage. Eric, Caleb has found fresh snow to come in all that way for that little handful of snow. So let's uh, fast forward in the coverage here. And we're almost to where we think we've got this snow mountain high enough. And it's about now that we decide... Not just any old snow mountain. Let's build a snow volcano because nothing says volcano like snow. Yep, keep throwing snow at each other. Definitely the way to go. And so, so here we are. We got the finishing touches here, and uh, let's get that thing built up as high as we can. Uh, and now we've got to just get it. Yeah, just that last little bit. And throwing the shovel, that's definitely a good technique. We're going to get it built up. And, you know, every good volcano actually needs a little hole in the top for the lava to come out. And so we've got it built up. I'm going to get that hole. Yeah, there we go. With my finger, that's exactly how that all that happens. And now it's time to decorate it. So we've got some food coloring. And we're going to decorate this to look a little bit more like a volcano. So I've got some green. I'm going to test it out on the snow over there. And uh, we're going to put some green on. We decided this could be like the trees on the mountain. And then we realized very quickly that it doesn't work and we don't have enough anyways. But we need lava, so let's get the red out. Let's get the lava uh, spewing out of this volcano and uh, throw the bottle. Maybe we'll put that in a little hole. And there it is, our snowman slash snow volcano. And, of course, what is better to finish it up with some very fast hot cocoa drinking? So what do you think of our entry into the Do You Want to Build a Snowman Challenge? It actually turned out not to be a snowman at all. It was a snow volcano. And honestly, I mean, it's my own work. I pour my own, you know, sweat into this. But I don't know if it's even really that good of a snow volcano. So I want to issue the challenge to you. Do you want to build a snowman? Grab uh, anyone in your house who wants to come and do this with you. And go outside today. Hopefully you're watching this on Monday because we're supposed to have a lot of snow out there. It's Sunday night now. I'm, I'm only hoping we have more snow. But get outside and build yourself a snowman or whatever snow thing comes out of it for you. Uh, I want to encourage you to do that. It's so fun to be out there in the snow. If you're kind of new to this whole snow thing, if you maybe moved to Maryland from somewhere that didn't have a lot of snow, man, I've got to tell you, it is so, so, so fun. So get out there. Build yourself a snowman. And then take a picture. We all want to see your snow creation. So take a picture and head over to the JC Kids Facebook group on, uh, on Facebook and post your picture there. Look at the pictures of other, uh, of other families who have posted those. Let's all take a look at each other's snow creations and see kind of who won the snowman challenge uh, th this week. The, do you want to build a snowman? challenge. Well, I had a whole lot of fun doing that today. Uh, let me share with you before I leave uh, what we're going to be talking about uh, all throughout the rest of the week because during, uh, during the last four weeks we've been talking about keys to extreme living. How do we live extreme lives for God? And we've got another key this week to share with you. Check it out. Disciples of Jesus use their gifts to help others. Like a lot of our keys, it doesn't seem that extreme. So we've got a lot to discover this week in our daily snack episodes as we have a whole lot more fun together and we discover what is up with this next key to extreme living. Disciples of Jesus use their gifts to help others. Uh, what does it mean? How is that, you know, how is using something to help someone possibly extreme? What does it even mean? I mean, using your gifts, does it mean like taking stuff you didn't want for Christmas and then maybe giving it to someone else? I mean, we just call that re-gifting. So 
Let's check in back tomorrow. We're going to learn more about what this key to extreme living is all about and discover if it's really extreme at all. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Oh. Who I do it for? Who I do it for? I do it all. I do it all. I do it for the kids.